Oh, does this actually work? I wonder if this works. You guys are my guinea pig, okay? You could see like the infinite window thing going on. All right. Let's put that back over there. Oh no, I can't switch. Uh... Okay guys, we're back at it. I think I'm done playing around with my recording settings. We're gonna play City Skylines. And I've been trying for the last two weeks to record some video footage that I liked, uh, that I felt was going to be worthy of posting on YouTube. And uh, I decided I'm going to start a brand new city and we're going to go along together. So I've got a bunch of add-ons and assets and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through all the crap. I will eventually post a list of everything that's there and we will find that later. So I've got all the DLCs. I've got the latest one, Sunset Harbors, uh, which I've liked. It's not, uh, it's not anything that I would, you know, recommend that you'd go get right away or anything like that, but it's, uh, it's, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice add on. So. But uh, we're not going to pick any of the uh, built-in uh, maps or anything. We're going to we're going to pick this one. I got this off the Steam Riverdale. I don't remember who it is who who created it, but uh, it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice map. It's got a good enough good amount of resources, all that kind of stuff. It's got it's got all the connections. It doesn't have any crazy trees or anything like that. The temperate thing allows for the largest variety of trees, so it's not like exclusive palm trees or anything like that. And of course, as you can tell, it's not snowing. Uh, the, we will uh, we will take advantage of all the industries, all the DLC stuff and whatnot, and then we will see how my uh, add-ons and my mods and my assets and all that stuff, how that will uh, make some life improvements. Uh, so while I'm, what? Oh, a default map theme will be used instead. Okay, well, whatever. Who cares? Anyway, so while we're doing this, uh, one of the mods that I have is the uh, mod, mod, mod load manager. Uh, what this does, it will load all the default stuff, then it will throw in all the mods, all the assets, and then it will actually create a, a save file out of what has failed. And right off the bat, because I didn't exit the game and start a fresh game, this thing has already failed. So as you can see down here, simulation failed, argument of range, it's broken. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It's, uh, it's a fresh reload. I've actually had to reload the game twice because uh, I was having some issues earlier. But uh, it's very rare for the assets to break from a fresh load of the game so what it does uh, as i was explaining before what it does it loads all the original stuff so game sunny loading prefab all that kind of stuff the deluxe pack uh and the uh, dlcs which I, I believe are the ones labeled as expansion one through whatever you'll see them show up as uh, as i ramble on here uh, and then what it'll also do it uh, it times how long it loads and this is how much ram it's loading uh how much of it is being loaded for use and what is currently being used for the game. And I apologize, I've been drinking a bunch of pop to get myself awake for today. So you'll hear some uh, burping in the background, I apologize. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, in a sec, you'll start seeing some uh, blue uh, blue words showing up after the uh, uh, the stock DLCs load. Uh, here's the modder packs. I don't know. I think that's like the compatibility stuff. Uh, I'm not really exactly sure. The blue stuff is duplicated assets or duplicated uh, mod data that I don't know how to get rid of, but it doesn't really affect the game. The orange and the red means there's stuff not loading. Uh, those are items that, so the orange are things that have either been renamed or rendered um, unavailable due to author uh, authors either changing the names or they have um, they've uh, made the asset private and unobtainable for the consumers of the workshop and then the red one was uh, one particular asset that just does not load and it seems to be an issue that uh, everybody's having 
Okay, so we've got the base game, or not the base game, we've got the game loaded, and we're going to do a couple things first. We're going to, uh, we're going to jump into the options. We're going to go down to the 81 tile extension, or the purchasing. Uh, I'm going to unlock all the tiles for free, and this is how I start the game. I want free, unabated access to the entirety of the map, and what the 81 tiles does is it gives me un restricted access to absolutely everything all the way to the world border and I don't know why but on custom maps the the uh, the highways unload for some reason but they are there they work everything's fine um, I'm sure it'll be okay in subsequent uh, videos uh, if anybody does know a way or if there's a mod or an asset that gets rid of this blue fog right at the edge of the border that would be really handy it'd be really helpful and all that kind of stuff uh, but it's not uh, it's not a game breaker, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, fair warning, I'm stuffed up because of allergies or and stuff like that. It's not the it's not the COVID, it's not the vid, it's or whatever whatever you whatever you call it, uh it's not what I have. I just have allergies. Uh I'm one of those unlucky people that I suffer from a whole mess of allergies and uh it sucks. And usually during the morning I'm uh, I'm usually stuffed up. My uh, uh, my nose is plugged. My throat's really phlegmy and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be clearing my throat and uh, I'll try to keep the sniffling down to a minimum. Um, if it bothers you, let me know. I'll do my best to fix further edits. As well as I'll try to not drink a whole mess of pop before I start drinking or sp <laughs> before I start uh, recording this video. Uh, the other thing that I do run. And this is actually what I run off camera is I, I run this little FPS monitor. It's called Monitor It, I believe. And it just shows me, again, this shows me how much RAM, RAM I'm using in the game <clears throat> to run the game. And this is the, the average um, FPS that uh, the, game, the game runs at. Now, thankfully, um, not thankfully, but uh, unfortunately, the, the game is capped at 30 frames a second. There's no way to fix it. Uh, again, if you guys know how to fix it, I would love to hear more about it, but this is where it's at. Uh, I do have a couple other save games, and the um, the game averages 27 frames, 20 to 27 frames per second, uh, with everything that I have on this map. So all the content will be this. Uh, the, all the content that I have in this map is the same stuff on my other private save games. And I may showcase them at a later time, but I wanted to start something fresh with you guys. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to uh, I'm going to start building the nuclear power plant, but the way it works, I have not unlocked any of the roads or the assets or any of that kind of stuff. So and it's going to take a little while for me to get to a point where I can actually build um, build like the 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 keys and all that kind of stuff. And I really want to have like a nice keyed uh, like a landscaped area. I think I picked one out on a previous looky loo of this map, and it's either I'm either gonna build the power plant right here, so everybody can see it when they're driving into town, or I'm gonna stick it all the way up here on this peninsula. I haven't decided yet. I might put it out here just so it's kind of like out of the way, like in the distance, that sort of thing, so it's not, you know, it's not in your face about it or anything like that. Um, and then. Uh, wherever I put the nuclear power plant, I usually put a bunch of the, um, I usually put a bunch of the of the builds together. So I'll put the the power plant here, uh, and then you know, like further inland, out of the way, but close to the water as well. I'll put the uh, sewage treatment plant, and I'll put it all together just to kind of create like this uh, one flowing complex of, of of service industry type stuff. Um, you know what? In fact, I might actually just go with this area here. I'll uh, I'll I'll create a little nice area here that will look uh, it'll look good. It'll be plenty of room for a good sized power station, which uh, gives me the ability to completely not worry about having to run power through here ever again. It'll be more than enough for the entirety of this map. And of course, if I run out of power, I could either add on to it or I can add I can maybe build a secondary power plant somewhere else. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start building a town because I I'm, I'm I don't unlock anything. I like it this way. It's kind of like the 
it's like the half-ass challenge, I guess, if you want to call it. I do run with the unlimited money, uh, the stock unlimited money mod, uh, which I do enjoy. I don't custom build everything. I don't jam everything together. I don't, uh, uh, like some of the other artists, which do some amazing work, by the way. So don't don't think for a second that I'm that I'm uh, throwing shade their way or any of that kind of stuff. I, I love what they do. I watch a lot of what these guys do, a lot of their content and all that kind of stuff. I just don't... I, I, it's not my style so what we're going to do is we're going to run it uh, in a way that um, where excuse me guys sorry <clears throat> we're going to run it so uh, not only do I have to uh, build stuff and grow stuff but I got to do it to expand to the next levels and all that kind of stuff and that's the fun challenge for me so it's not a full challenge where the city could fail and all that kind of stuff which I don't like uh, but it does allow me to grow it at my pace and I get my little rewards and all that kind of stuff, which I like. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, first off, really, I can't destroy anything? I have to build road. Okay, so we're going to do this to unlock some stuff. Now this this allows me to unlock the uh, some things. So we're going to, you know what, we're just going to get rid of this because we're not going to have... That's too loud, guys. You know, I'll probably have to edit this in, uh, in edit, edit this out in post. I get that sorted out, but we're gonna do. Excuse me. We're gonna start building. We're gonna do some industry in the, on this side here. Wow, my pop is fighting back. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Okay. So we're gonna start some industry in this area here. Uh, it'll be very very small because we just need enough to get the city going we just need enough to get the town going right so we'll we'll do that over here we'll do actually let's do that right now we'll we'll get this sorted out i like uh, right at the very beginning i don't do much in the way of uh artistry or or anything like that i just i just build it for the sake of building or at least just to get the people going right catch my drift and and because we have the unlimited money it just gives me a little bit more uh, a little bit more freedom to just get stuff started, right? And what we're going to do with the highway, because we don't have a lot, in fact, we don't have anything that we could use, really? There we go, we got the one-way roads. So we'll do the one-way roads. We will, we'll drop in, actually what we'll do first is we're going to drop in a, a roundabout. We're going to try to plop it right in the middle here, just like this. We're going to get rid of that. Switch back over to here, and here's where we're gonna have a little bit of fun, and this is what I like to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my circles because this is as squared to these two highways as possible. I'm gonna draw out. I'm gonna turn off curving, and I'm also gonna turn on anarchy. So this is one of the other things. It's uh, um, it's road. I believe it's called road anarchy and fine road tools. I believe it's all together. But, ah, oh, see, I did something, I done goofed. What I'm supposed to do is I was supposed to do the cross streets just so I can make it, uh, I can do it correctly. So let me fix this first, guys, okay? So we'll, I believe it's out to here. No, that's too far. Five. I did screw it up. Jeez, guys, I'm, I'm just the worst. I am the worst city builder on the face of the planet. I'm the worst city builder of city building. Okay, let's do this again, shall we? We're going to drop it right here, as close as possible without actually causing the uh, uh, causing the snapping. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to go all the way to here. We're going to go do that. We're going to do dirt roads and we don't have to fiddle with any of that kind of stuff because it all, it all fits together anyway. There we go. Okay, so what this does, guys, is it uh, it fits it all together. It it holds it holds the shape. Um, I'm I'm doing circle-y motions with my with my left index finger. Uh, I'm sure you guys can see that. If I had a webcam, you guys could see that. Uh, but I don't have a webcam, and you won't see it. What we're gonna do is make sure we're gonna have anarchy on again. We're gonna turn off that uh, curvy tool. Actually, there we go. And we're going to no no don't fight me here. Don't fight me. 
There we go. And then to switch it around, we just turn on the upgrade tool and right click on it, and it does the upgrade. Okay, so now we've got the. <clears throat> now we've got my circle ready to rock. It's all awesome and stuff. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, what we're going to do too is we're going to upgrade this road to something a little bit larger, uh, and we're going to do that just so we can help with the initial levels of traffic. We don't have, we're not going to have a lot coming in, and uh, we're, but we're we're going to need it at the, at some point in time. And then we will just, you know, I'm going to keep some of it as straight as possible. You know what? It's not a disaster. Okay, so there we go with the with the basics. Uh, with the basic industry and because I don't have the other landscaping tools unlocked yet so I got to reach 1100 people which I think is the second or third um, <clears throat> expansion or whatever you want to call it we're gonna drop that in there we're gonna we're gonna start with some industry and we're just gonna do this we're just gonna get some industry started and then we're gonna call that a done deal okay Next up, we're going to do some. Uh, we're going to do some residence. We're going to do some residential. Let's get the residential started. We're going to. Alright, so I've watched uh, a gentleman named Biffa. Um, I, I love his content. Uh, Biffa, if you're watching this, you're you're one of my YouTube heroes, honestly, dude. Um, you've inspired me to do creation and building and Let's Plays and stuff like that. And it's taken me years to get to the right level where I could publish something. So thank you, sir. You've been a great inspiration and I look forward to more of your content and i hope i emulate you or whatever anyway you're you're a great man i uh, i love i love what you do man and uh anybody else who's watching this go see biffa go watch biffa you gotta go check out his channel he does some amazing stuff um anyway and he's what he's done he's he's actually helped me learn how to use oh it doesn't want to move uh, learn he's taught me how to use traffic manager president's edition so he's he's super explained it. He explains it every single video. Um, and for some people, it gets monotonous. But you know what? He does great work, and uh, it's he's brilliant. Anyway, um, so one thing he does is he turns off despawning, which uh, makes it much more difficult. But it also gives you a much more realistic view of how your city grows and how it deals with traffic. Uh, it also allows you to really make it a little bit more realistic and stuff like that. Um, what he also does is he he nitpicks. Hey, look at that. We hit 360 population, which allows us to unlock the garbage and some basic healthcare and some basic education. That is amazing. Perfect. Okay, it looks like I have one of my assets is loading now. So we're going to pause it here. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But before that, um, I'm not going to uh, go into all the nitty gritty stuff of how Biffa does it, but I am going to explain or I'm going to quickly upgrade my traffic circle so it operates efficiently so i what i'm doing is i'm turning going to the add priority signs and i'm holding the shift button and what this does is automatically sets up a uh, yield and straight throughs uh, correctly so this will allow for traffic to flow a little bit nicer um, here i'm going to set it up so uh, vehicles don't have to worry about 
uh, holding at intersections. I think I have that right. No, I have that wrong. I have that one right. Uh, yeah, I got that one right. Good. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Uh, does it do it for the whole thing? No, that's not the one. I thought it did it for the whole thing. Huh. Anyway, uh, what this does, it uh, it'll fix the arrows uh, for the intersection. So it actually creates dedicated exit lanes, which I've heard makes if makes it way more efficient. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to do it down here as well, uh, but uh, as soon as I start encountering traffic issues in areas, that's where I start plopping in the roundabouts and stuff like that. Okay, so this will that will just help with just general traffic. It'll it'll clean things up. It'll make it look nicer, or at least flow easier, make it more efficient. So now that I have uh, things like garbage utilities and whatnot, and here's one of the other assets that I was going to do. So a big garbage recycling complex. What this does, it breaks down the individual items and then takes it to a centralized location. So here, this would be uh, like the central recycling depot for the community in the area. And then what it does, it takes it to a, where is it? There is a dude. There's a dude. There's a place. There's a thing. Uh, here somewhere. Ah, the Recycling Sorting Center. So this is kind of like the like the headquarters building. So all the trucks come here. So it'll be transferred to this location. Then uh, from this one, it gets transferred out to these individual uh, parts of the plant. And it uh, actually produces small amounts of resources, which can actually get sold uh, outside of the city or sold off to other locations. Unfortunately, we don't have room for that right now, or we don't. We haven't figured out where we're going to do it just yet. Uh, but part of this asset pack is actually like a simple landfill. It just looks a little bit different than uh, than the original one. So here's the original one. So it's it's fenced in. It looks you know pretty nice. This one's kind of like it's just open. It's a yard. Uh, what we'll do is we'll probably just use the default one for now. Uh, we'll get that one started, and then as the city grows, I'll I'll do a time lapse and I'll put this uh, put this bad boy together. But for now, that's enough. And the other thing, okay, so we're going to do a medical clinic. Come on, go back down, thank you. Uh, we're going to do a medical clinic. We're just going to drop this guy in here uh, along this area. Make everybody happy. Uh, I do have a couple custom assets. Here's one of the custom assets. I was going to drop this in, but I'm going to use that for more r rural, rural, out-of-the-way farm area. Make it look a little bit nicer uh, but we're also gonna do is oh yeah look okay so I've got a few buildings already set up so I've got uh, a couple uh, loaded assets uh, I've got the here's the basic one so I have 300 student capacity okay uh, here's the other this is like the community school like the like the hippie <laughs> the hippie elementary school here's a D a, a new upgraded elementary school this actually reminds me of my old elementary school back home uh, and then I've got uh, community high school and then I've got this neat guy right here um, and you know what just because it looks really cool let's let's throw this guy in here we'll throw him in right here and we'll see how uh, we'll see how that works all right So as you guys can see, things things are expanding, and I'm being warned that uh, we don't have enough electricity. So we're going to we're going to bump the power up to about sixty percent. There we go. And have I I've unlocked taxes? So another thing that I do is I rip them up to twelve percent, because that's the threshold before everybody starts winching and moaning that uh, I'm charging them too much. And then for some reason the landfill is. In the red. I'm not sure why the landfill's in the red. I didn't turn it down, did I? I did not. I could, but I did not. Let's just turn all this stuff down, and, and then we'll we'll micromanage as we go. But we don't need to, not yet. Weird. You're operating normally. Oh, you've got. Oh, see, I've already, I've already monkeyed with it too much. Uh, let's go up to 60%. Who 
fuel availability. It's still not enough. Okay, you know what? Let's just quit goofing it off here or there. Craving. Let's get back to business. Just leave it all. Because we don't, we're not paying for anything, just trying to hope to maintain positive balance stuff. Let's just get everything back to normal. Go. There we go. Okay, we're back to normal. Everything's back up to 100%. There's 200 students, out of, or 60 out of 200 students. We're happy now. We're good. We're rolling, and we're rocking. Okay. So we still have to get up to 1100 student or 1100 population so it's the third one so i gotta wait till we're at tiny town and then we're gonna jump into the time lapse but what we'll do is we'll, we'll do some variety i like to this helps somebody says it helps i don't remember who said it helps but you know what I know it's boring having grid work and all that kind of stuff, but you know what? It looks aesthetically pleasing. Or something. Ooh, and they really skyrocketed. Okay, so we'll do we'll do these two. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do these. Hello, there we go. A little bit of lag. Oh, it was loading. Or saving, I should say. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll do some we'll do some commercial along the uh, along the edges here. So we'll do that and we'll do this. But we'll cut this part out because we'll run roads and I don't like knocking people's houses or buildings down. So we'll see how that goes. And we don't we don't have parks unlocked just yet. So we got all the good stuff starts coming out at 1100. I got the police station at 750 and the fire hall at 750. Okay. And then I'll be able to unlock zones at 750. So I've got two upgrades to go through. And this will be how the world will be run. This is this is my little corner of the universe for now. And then once we unlock that 1100, then I'll jump into that time lapse and we'll build that uh, power station. All right. Well, we should probably get with some more uh, get some more building going on. So we will we'll do kind of like the same thing right here start here we'll go out 20 we'll come down like that but we're going to delete this one but bring it out to here so we'll do the exact same thing do 20 10 and we'll get it out to here and then I'll bring this guy out to here and connect that up so that way more people can come in they'll uh, they'll be able to get in from that area and here's where we can change it up a little bit or should I you know what let's do we'll do this like that but then we'll go the other way we'll go like that that's how I roll I'll uh, see well okay we'll do that that Ooh, let's just go straight across big area yeah okay let's do that all right we'll finish with that do that and that and just because I didn't I don't want that area getting filled this actually I should probably do do what I did earlier right hey worthy village okay so that unlocks the fire hall police station and the two, uh, the two industries. So we can actually start working on the two beginner industries too. I'm gonna get that started in just a sec. Let's get these settled in because we're gonna need workers, right? We're gonna need a lot of workers. So once we do, once we get this hashed out, good, okay. And we'll span this out to here. I'm not going to worry about the main line just yet because we're not building on either side of the street uh, just yet. So I don't need to bring this guy all the way out here. Plus, 
it looks like it's right on the edge the way I've got these guys going it's right on the edge of areas that will develop anyway so I'm not worried about that at all what we'll do as well is uh, let's let's plop them in right here so we're gonna have a, uh, a fire station which will have really good actually be pretty decent coverage I'm more concerned with the industri industrial industrial area uh, being affected by fire. However, maybe yeah, let's put, let's put it here. People like it more. Do that. There. So I've got the fire hall in. I've got the police station in, and they're not the European packs or the European themes, which is nice because I don't really like the European themed police station and fire hall. Maybe I'll get some additional assets for that. I don't think I have any. No, I don't. That's a shame. We'll get more. Don't worry about that. We will get more. And we've got some unique buildings that have unlocked. But we're not going to be dropping these in uh, at any point just yet. Because we've we've got stuff to build up first. We've, we've got a ways to go. Okay. So we'll let that run for a little while. And from the looks of it, there's lots of... Uh, forestry industry stuff here. Let us go to natural resources. Okay, so what we've got, we've got lots of forestry. It looks like there's some oil and there's some ore industry or that will be available pretty soon here. So this is the oil, I believe, and this was the ore industry. So we'll have some, uh, we'll have some metal and petroleum uh, abilities here soon but I think what we're gonna do is we'll maybe we'll build a forest area a forest industry area right on the other side of these train tracks I think that actually would look pretty slick yeah let's do that okay so what we're gonna do first is we need to find this guy okay weird I thought we need so it unlocks. I am so confused. Oh, maybe it's oh, it's the small industry stuff. Oh, the, this stuff. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. So, because uh, I wanted, I want to focus on the industries DLC stuff for the uh, specialized, and then just have regular industry doing the general manufacturing and whatnot. So we'll leave that for now. We're not going to worry about that. Why does it say zero garbage availability? That is very strange. I've never had that before. It's always... Oh, because it doesn't... It's not being processed. Okay, I get it. Maybe what we could do is, just for now, is we can, we can throw in this guy. See if that changes. Does that, does that help? Well, a little bit. Oh, better than nothing, right? Okay. So what it'll do, everyone will collect garbage here. Uh, and then the other thing it'll do is, I believe this guy goes around as well, but they, they kind of transfer over to here, pick up garbage from here, but they also go out and pick up stuff, so. Good. And we're motoring along quite nicely. We, we've we actually got a good amount of people coming in. We've got uh, a nice amount of industry. We've got, looks like uh, we've satisfied almost everybody's uh, asks and their demands and stuff like that currently installed and being run so we're we're doing well we are doing quite well I'm just gonna speed this up a tiny little bit just so we can get some more people moving in it looks like the commercial demand is starting to ramp up a little bit uh, we might have to start looking at getting some more commercial space set up but we've got room along the edges uh, and they're a good sound barrier for the uh, highways and stuff like that. So we're uh, we're not too, too concerned just yet. All right. So we're just starting to see a little bit of demand for more industrial stuff. So maybe what we could do is we can run out a little bit more of the industrial. Go this way a bit too. Just... Just because. This way I can. Oop. I can just.
just maximize what space is in here. And this might turn into a really good spot for a uh, freight uh, a freight station, uh, which will which we don't have just yet. We'll have to wait until that's unlocked. It's weird though; it doesn't look like that. Whatever. Actually, what we could do is we could save this area for additional services. Let's do that. That way, if we need another power station, I can just throw it right there. And this guy's going to despawn in just a minute here. Okay. Sounds like one of my neighbors has his motorcycle out again. And it looks like we're starting to suffer at the elementary school. So I think it might be time, unfortunately, to throw in the standard elementary school which has a much higher capacity a lot more people a lot more room for people and we'll throw this in we'll just throw this in down the street we'll actually we'll face it the other way and we'll see how people do um hey so we've made it to the tiny town level so here is where we're going to be able to do a lot more. I've I've added a whole bunch of stuff. So here I've got a bunch of new highway pieces and some modded assets and, and whatnot. So this will be uh, really, really helpful with how we progress from here. Uh, let's see. So I've got, I've unlocked that stuff. And what else have I unlocked? There's something else I unlocked. What else did I unlock? Oh, I unlocked high schools. High schools are good because we need high schools. We need educated children, right? Alright, we'll put in the high school, and you know what, just because, I'll put in a library as well. They say it's supposed to help, but it really, I haven't seen it really help a lot. And now we've got the ability to put in some parks and stuff, and here we can actually do the forestry industry, which is amazing. So what we'll do is we're going to hold off on all of this. I'm going to turn to my time lapse and we're going to start working on the nuclear power plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow my road all the way down to here and we're going to build it right here. I like this spot guys. I think this is going to work out really, really well. And there goes that highway again. It's doing weird things. I don't know why it does that. It's odd that it's rendering like that. I'll, maybe I'll try reloading the game. Anyway, I'm going to stop recording right here and then i'm going to take a quick break and then when i start again it will be time lapse so i will see you guys in a few minutes <laughs> 